Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for this week that you have started us out. Thank you for all of the services that we are able to attend, all the sermons, all the directions, Lord, all the poems, all the songs. Father, thank you for allowing your Holy Spirit to be felt within so many of us. Father, I ask that you'll be with this devotional. Help us to get out of it what you want us to get out. Help it to enhance and strengthen our relationship with you. Father, may we truly understand that we have been justified by faith alone, not by checking off boxes of things that we have to do or things that we haven't done, but Lord, that we are justified by faith at the cross. Father, thank you so much for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross so many years ago for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for what that means for us. Thank you for our salvation. That is a gift from you to us. Nothing that we do can we deserve it, Lord, but you have given it to us free. Thank you, Father God, for your immense, great love for each and every one of us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, A Sacrifice for an Opportunity. It was written by Milagros Quintero and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Romans chapter 5, verses 1-11. through 11. So says the word of God. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into his grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character in character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For when we were still, without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. More than 2,000 years ago, the greatest gesture of love that has existed through the centuries occurred. The Word became flesh to redeem us from our sins. Jesus of Nazareth sacrificed himself for us and gave us an opportunity for salvation. The Son of God, the firstborn, suffered scorn and great pain. They flogged him, spat on him, mocked him, hung him on a tree, and in silence he endured everything so that we would have the blessing of being clean and accepted on his throne. Everything in life requires sacrifice, and today he invites you to make a great effort to keep your torch of faith lit and the flag of love held high as a sign of victory, just as you try to have a career and you stay awake studying or looking for the means to reach the place of intellectual and professional preparation, or to have and keep a decent job for your livelihood. Sacrifice yourself in your relationship with the Lord. Give your body as a living sacrifice, in him and for him, because he is worthy and deserving of all honor. A sacrifice for an opportunity. Live for Christ, and your reward will be eternal happiness. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. to you my heart be 
What a beautiful song, one of my favorites. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.